again and today i have for you another nail art video wherein i'm going to be showing you five nail art designs using just the polish and the items available around your house yes guys household item we not going to be using any fancy sophisticated nail artist ka tools and everything I'm planning to make this a series on my channel wherein every month I show you five designs using items around your house and uh, you're not going to be seeing my face but you definitely going to be seeing some cute beautiful set designs uh, and I believe uh, intro ke liye itna kaafi hai it's pretty self explanatory if this is something that interests you and you really want to see what all designs I'm going to be creating today and what all household items I'm going to be using then just keep on watching the video starting with the first design I've painted the nail like a pista green color and just to tell you here that you don't have to use the exact color combinations that i'm showing you i'm just giving you the design ideas when it comes to colors and their combinations you can use whatever you feel like using so as i was saying that i've painted the nail like a pista green color and you want the base to be completely completely dry for this particular manicure because we going to be using some scotch tape Yes guys good old scotch tape so make sure the base is completely dried now i'm going to be using a little bit of scotch tape and i'm going to be dividing the nail in half now using another color you can choose any color that matches with green or not maybe i'm using another shade of green so i'm just going to be painting it like this basically color blocking and while the paint is still wet i'm going to be removing the scotch tape now you can definitely stop here this color blocking looks beautiful too it's very in these days but i'm going to be taking it a step further using a q tape and some white acrylic paint i'm going to be placing some dots where the two colors meet something like this i made a little mistake with that dot but it's okay it looks pretty now q tips are like a very good option if you don't have dotting tools now now i'm going to be letting this dry before top coating it time to top coat this baby it will look beautiful mattified because it has that green slate color now i might do it For the second manicure I've painted my nail complete white because I'm going to be putting some bright colors over it and I believe white ke upar sabse zyada acche dikhte hain bright colors and the household item that I'm going to be using is a straw now I'm not going to be blowing through it no we are not going to be creating that kind of mess but I'm going to be creating some beautiful pattern you'll just see and also I'm going to be using like acrylic colors for this because I believe acrylic colors will work best for this one so all you have to do is take your straw and dip it in the color like this and just press it over your nail and can you see It has created such a beautiful pattern. Now repeat it at random spots using one color. So this is how it looks with one color. You can totally stop here. This also looks good, but I'm going to be going in with another color. You can go with as many colors you want or as many circles you want. You can use different uh, straw size to create different size ka circles. I'm going to be doing the same size ka circles, but uh, make sure you wait between each color for it to dry. Kyunki agar geele ke upar hi gaye na dusre color se to wo sab bilkul कचरा मुख मच जाएगा बेसिकली नेल पे सो मेक श्योर द प्रीवियस कलर इज कम्प्लीटली ड्राइड बिफोर यू गो इन विद द नेक्स्ट वन वंस द प्रीवियस कलर इज ऑल ड्राइड आई एम गोना बी गोइंग इन विद सम पिंक सर्कल्स डूइंग द सेम थिंग मेकिंग श्योर टू ओवरलैप द सर्कल्स अ लिटिल बिट So this is where I'm going to be stopping. Uh you can definitely add some green to this. It will look so beautiful or maybe some smaller circles in the same colors. 
बट फॉर नाउ दिस इज इट फॉर मी आई एम जस्ट गॉन बी पुटिंग इट टू ड्राई बिकॉज बिफोर टॉप कोटिंग इट मेक श्योर द कलर्स आर एब्सोल्यूटली ड्राई वंस इट्स ऑल ड्राइड अप आई एम गोइंग इन विथ अ ग्लॉसी टॉप कोट You can definitely mattify it if you want, but I'm gonna keep it glossy. For this next design, I've painted the nail a deep royal blue shade, and the item that I'm gonna be using to create this manicure, you'll be surprised to know. Guys, I'll be using salt. Yes, plain old good salt. I know it sounds weird, but it creates such a good sugar effect. Now, I know that's ironic, like using salt to. create a sugar like effect but that's what we going to be doing so for that i'm going to be painting another layer fresh layer slightly thicker of the same royal blue and while it's still wet i'm going to be sprinkling salt all over it So as you can see since the salt is white it absorbs the color of the polish and it becomes slightly blue. Now I'm going to be keeping it for a while till the time like the polish is dried and then I'm going to be dusting off the excess. And here is the final look. The best part about this one is that you don't have to top coat it. So yeah, you are good to go like this just let your nails completely dry. For this next design I've again painted my nail white only because I'm going to be using some bright colors and this time I'm going to be using some cling wrap. Yes guys, cling wrap is another very good option to use for nail art if you don't have anything else with you now. So all I'm going to be doing is taking some color out of my palette, bunching up a little piece of cling wrap, dipping it in the color and just placing random spots on the nail can you see how beautiful marble effect it creates you can do this with just one color or you can like use multiple colors i'm again gonna be using two but make sure you wait between the layers for the first color to dry now taking the second color and another clean piece of cling wrap bunching it up I'm going to be making another pattern on this side. Oh, I got too much on the cling wrap, but that's okay. You can do a lot with this technique because you can use multiple colors to put spots on various uh, places on the nail, leave most of it white, or uh, like do gradient like I did, or use just one color. Imagination, just use your imagination and do whatever you want with this nail. Again, I'm gonna be waiting before top coating it for the colors to dry. Now the colors are all dried and we can top coat them but be careful it still can smudge okay so i'm just going to be floating a thick drop of top coat all over the nail and there you go i smudged it a little but that's all right it has like a smudged look only now so it adds to that look I've kept messiest nail art for the last and for this I've painted my nail a nude uh, shade a deep nude shade again you can use whatever color you want and the item that I'm going to be using is a toothbrush yes guys classic old toothbrush again a very good item to use for nail art I've covered my background with a tissue paper though I'm using acrylic but I don't want my background to get dirty and all and also I'm sort of wearing a finger glove if you can see like a finger glove because i'm going to be using my finger to spray the color onto the nail and i don't want my other nail to get all dirty now now all you have to do is take some acrylic colors yes guys i'm going to be using acrylic colors only and i'm going to be dipping it directly into the color the toothbrush and with the help of my finger i'm just going to be spraying Can you see how beautiful and even it looks? 
so you can totally stop here with one color it looks beautiful as it is but me being me i'm gonna be going in with another color and i don't believe you have to wait for this one to dry before you can go in with another color but yes definitely you have to clean your brush and also your finger glove otherwise sara color na blend ho jayega this time i'm using blue and i'm just gonna be doing the same process and yes that's it it looks so pretty it's a little messy i won't uh, deny that it uh, ruins your table it has ruined mine but uh, again since it's acrylic color it's easy to wipe but the effect is beautiful you guys can you see again i'm going to be waiting for it to dry before i can top coat it let's top coat it and since these are acrylic colors it's definitely not going to smudge This will look beautiful mattified too. So if you want you can definitely mattify it. So yes guys these were the five designs that I had for you that I created using just polish and the items available around your house like toothbrush, straw, q-tip, tape and even salt. Uh let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. Uh when it comes to me I believe the straw one and the toothbrush one are my favorite. I love the salt one too actually. Anyways, these designs, these techniques has so many possibilities to explore now. I'm definitely going to do that. So if you want to see more designs, more design ideas what I can do uh using these techniques as base, follow me on my Instagram because I'm definitely going to be incorporating these techniques in my Instagram ka nail art designs now where I create like designs on my own natural nails. So if you want to see that, follow me on my Instagram. plus if you have any household item that you use to create nail art designs let me know in the comments down below as well uh, maybe i can give them a try and come up with some new design using them and yeah if you like this video don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up subscribe to my channel ring that bell to stay notified for new content and as i always say maintain social distancing stay safe be kind to the animals around you keep yourself hydrated and yeah i'll catch you in my next one bye bye